If you've logged in to Fallout 76 recently, then you will have seen that there have been a couple of sales within the Atom Shop. Various items have had their prices knocked down, and it looks like this is going to be a weekly thing. On top of this, the past couple of weeks there's been an item being given away for free. Last week it was a varsity jacket, and this week it's a Nixie Tube alarm clock. To start this video off positively, I will say that I really like the fact that they're giving away an item for free each week. I think it's a really good way to make the item shop somewhat more justified. That said, I also can see the darker side to this. The sale items are all on strict timers. There's generally only a few days where you can get them at a reduced price, and only a sucker will pay full price, so obviously you're going to pick it up in the sale, but oh dear, it looks like you don't have enough atoms to buy all the items you want in the sale. Okay, you'll just earn more in-game, but you've only got a few days to do it, but earn them fast. You know what, why not just spend a little cash to boost these atoms faster? After all, you don't want to miss out. This is the issue I have. Time sales are a common way to get customers to impulse buy. I spent over three years working retail, and one of the main items I sold were insoles for shoes. If sale numbers weren't good enough, then we were often told to tell the customers that they were on a one-day sale. The items themselves never actually went on sale, but the idea that if a customer didn't buy it right now made them more likely to do so, as in their mind, they were missing out otherwise. In Bethesda's defence, they are at least reducing the cost of the items, so it is a sale, but the timers rubbed me up the wrong way. I like the fact they're doing a sale, but the way it presents itself is clearly done to get people to impulse spend more than anything else. That said, it is down to the player to decide if they're going to get anything in the sale, and more importantly, if they're going to spend real money for atoms or just earn them in game. Personally, I have no intention of spending any money on atoms. Everything I get from the Atomic Shop will be purchased through atoms I earn in game, so this whole thing really doesn't affect me all that much. If anything, it's only a good thing for me. I log on regularly so I'm never going to miss a sale, and I'm incredibly frugal, so it's unlikely I'll ever be in a situation where I've run out of atoms. Overall, I guess this is a good thing, as it does mean we all get a free item every once in a while, and you might be able to get an item you've wanted at a cheaper price. What's your take on this though? Microtransactions are something that get a lot of people angry, but they've become a common part of most modern games, so we're all also getting more used to them. The key now is really having them being well done, and I'm not sure if the Atom Shop is. And I guess that's why I'm making this video. Partly to inform you all of the free items you can get, and partly to get an idea of how my community feels about this whole subject. Just a short little video I guess, there's going to be another episode of a scavenger run coming tomorrow, and I've also got something a little different coming this weekend, before I get to sink my teeth into the new content dropping for 76 on the 12th. As always, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Sarge out.